Well, there's a couple of things. Um, as, as you guys know, I had written a book in 2010 called uh, Scientific Paranormal Investigation, How to Solve Unexplained Mysteries. And that was sort of a how to, you know, basically just what it says, you know, how to investigate weird things, everything from crop circles to psychics to ghosts to, you know, you name it. Uh, and it, that book's been pretty well received. Uh, I think partly because it's a cheap book, <laughs> it's like sixteen bucks, and people are like, "Yeah, I'll plunk down sixteen bucks for Ben's Drek." Um, but you know, I, I, part of the reason I wanted to do that was because there's there's a natural curiosity about these topics. And as one of you know, really only a dozen or so you know science based paranormal investigators, you know, sort of professional ones in the world. Um, you know, people are curious. How how do how do you go about that, right? And so, um, after I would give on give talks, for example, people would come up to me and say, "Oh, this is really interesting." You know, how I want to do this too. How how do I do that? And and you know, I gleaned some of the techniques just from my own experience, investigations, from uh, learning from Joe Nickel and and the amazing Randy and other people. Uh, and I wanted to sort of give people a, a template uh, for so they could go out and do the same thing on their own. Um, but one thing about the uh, investigations book uh, in 2010 was, it, as I mentioned, it covered it covered a, a lot of material. There's you know, crop circles and psychics and this and that. And I realized that ghosts are really their own their own topic. Um, there it, there's so much that's unique to ghosts and ghost lore and ghost folklore. There's there's specific types of evidence, for example, orbs and EVPs, the, the so-called ghost voices. Um, and 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 also keep in mind that that among all the paranormal topics that people investigate, uh, certainly amateurs do, ghosts are by far the most popular. Not everybody's interested in lake monsters or Bigfoot or psychics, uh, but go- everybody loves ghosts. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Virtually, virtually any town or city of any size has one or two, often many, self-proclaimed ghost hunters. Sure. Uh, and there's been a, a sort of democratization of ghost hunting over the last about 10, 15 years, due in part to TV shows like Ghost Hunters. Um, and uh, Sharon Hill in her new book uh, Scientific American sort of talks about some of these amateur research groups and so because ghost investigation has a, a very specific set of, of, of criteria and evidences and, and, and different aspects to it, it really ne- needed its own book uh, so that's one reason I did it. Another part is that um, you know I wanted to, uh, to try and bring good evidence uh, an investigation to the topics, and this is something, of course, I, I try and do all the time. Is, is trying to get people to do good research. Um, I remember I, I, I probably talked about this on the show before, but I remember uh, a few years ago I was speaking at a, at a Bigfoot conference in Pocatello, Idaho, and I was sort of the token skeptic, and sort of people were booing me on the stage, you know, <laughs> throwing Bigfoot <laughs> scat at me. And I said, "Look, you know," I said, "Yeah, I'm skeptical." And this is this is a room full of like 99 percent believers. And I said, "Look, but I'm not the bad guy here." I said, "Look, I mean, I I take Bigfoot seriously. I, I do research on it. I've done research on it. I, I investigate, you know, different claims and Bigfoot tracks and sightings and stuff. So, the the point that I was trying to make to these Bigfoot people is like, I'm not the enemy." I'm, I'm not the one laughing at you. I will if you if you give me your, if you have real evidence that you believe is, is legitimate evidence. I will look at it. I'm not going to laugh at you. I'm not going to say you're crazy. I'm not going to say you're stupid. I will make a sincere effort to understand what you're doing and see if this could actually be good evidence of Bigfoot. Uh, and it's the same thing with the the, the ghost hunting community. Um, you know, I don't. I've never made fun of sincere ghost hunters and ghost investigators because. Ghosts are cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like ghosts. I love the idea of ghosts. Um, I think they're interesting and fascinating. And there's different aspects. They're, they're cultural and folkloric and historical, and there's so many aspects to it. Uh, and if ghosts are real, I want to know. I, I seriously, I'm. This is this is cool. So I'm not a, I'm not a debunker. I'm not a dismissive. I'm not trying to disprove them. I want to really f- find out what's going on. And the best way to do that is to bring science to it, is to bring good investigation techniques and critical thinking. And so so part of why I wrote the book is in the hope that the sincere sincere ghost hunters and ghost investigators will will improve the quality of their research and make, get better evidence for ghosts, either proving the ghosts do in fact exist, or alternatively, uh, concluding that probably they don't exist, if, if in fact they don't. And the other the other aspect to to the the book is that it's kind of a, a summary of 
20 years of, of investigating ghosts. This book, Investigating Ghosts, is sort of like my attempt to bring all the research and the personal investigation that I can do into one spot.